You're listening to One Family, What's God Doing? Where we explore what God is doing in YWAM locations in Virginia and beyond. We can't wait for you to hear what God is doing today. Welcome back to What's God Doing? And we've got something exciting for all of you. For five days, we are going to have The Flood, a five-day devotional. Hold it up. There it is. Uh, for free as an ebook. We will put in the description how you can get that and what dates it'll be available. But we wanted to give you a taste of what this devotional is like. And one thing I will say is we designed these to be uh, as accessible as possible to anyone that might want to read it. Young or old, new to faith, or have always believed throughout their life. Uh, this book is for anyone. This book is for you. And so to give an example... I've got a, uh, a preteen here who is, is going to read it and go forth. Yeah. Day one, a flood's coming. Hab- Have a cook. Have a cook. Two ver- two, chapter 2, verse 14. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the water covers the sea. Reflection. Floods are bad, right? When we hear of flooding, we picture severe damage and loss of waters cruelly flow into flo- flow into places they weren't meant to be. Here's the funny thing. Flood waters are neither cu- cruel or misplaced. Flooding is simply the result of an ambudance of abundance. Wa- abundance of water spreading where it needs to. It just so happens when we've built along flood plant plains and shores we get mad when the water impedes our property but water pre- precedes us in creation the space isn't isn't ours to control here's what you need to understand about god's kingdom it is an abundance of god's glory and it is spreading where it needs to according to habba <laughs> yeah, <Habakkuk>. cook. <laughs> have a cook the entire the sp- that spread is the entire earth. Humans throughout history have tried approach it, approaches like dams and le- levees. levees to control water, but an abundance of water won't be stopped. Neither can the gospel of God's love and, pow- and power be held at the bay. God's kingdom is already spreading, and this is good news. However, like a flood through a populated area, it can feel destructive because anything that is not of God will not withstand the waves. Things we have built and pursued outside him could get washed away, which could feel like loss. But God's kingdom waters are washing in far great realities. Are you ready to trust him? Ah, good job, bud. Habakkuk is a tricky one. Yes. Let me ask, let me ask you a question. What do you think? the knowledge of the glory of God means, and why is it good for it to fill the earth? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> Joshua, what do you think the knowledge of the glory of God means? Do I have to get it right? No. There's no right answer. Yeah. So it sounds like it's probably yeah. good. Oh, go ahead. Like, it's like... The glory of God is like moving like in a different direction. Mm, that's good. So it's going in all kinds of directions, different places. So it's probably good to have something to help us learn more about the knowledge of the glory of God, it sounds like. Uh, if God flooded your life with his glory, what would stand firm against the waters and what might get demolished? Um... I don't. I really don't know. Like sins would get demolished, mm. or like good stuff would stand firm. That's good. What do you think? Like the flood would, like you know. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Floods can be scary, and the idea of God's glory filling the earth can be as well. If you sense fear, why do you think that is? What could help you trust his movement? Um, if I sense fear, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You know? Pray, I guess. 
Maybe mm. like pray and like listen to God, you know? Pray and listen to God. Ah. And you're on the floor. That's good, yeah. So when you sense fear, it could be a good opportunity to pray and listen for God. I like that. Well, guess what? The next thing is prayer. It says, take a moment to pray about these answers. You can pray something like this. Dear God, your word says your glory will fill the earth like the waters fill the sea. And the idea of being in the middle of an ocean feels frightening. I confess I don't fully understand your glory. And though I say it's good, I don't always feel it. Help me this week to deepen my understanding. <laughs> so this is, you just experienced day one in the flood. And as you can see, it has a key verse. It has a reflection. It has some reflection questions. And it has an invitation to prayer. So, Timothy and Joshua, how do you feel about something like this that gives you a verse, it gives you a reflection, it gives you questions, and it gives you a way to pray? Good. <laughs> All right. How do you feel? Now, Joshua, I have a question for you. If there's a free ebook version of this, should people get it? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, God. Yeah. What do you think, Timothy? Do not have it. Yes, you can. So, like I said, go to the description. This it comes out of our summer work teams. Each summer, we create a, a new five-day devotional to guide them so that as they serve, <laughs> as they serve we can serve them through drawing them closer to God. And <laughs> let's back up a little bit. It's hilarious. It's great. Uh, so there are multiple versions of uh, multiple copies from multiple summers. This is the latest. We want to make it free as a uh, show of gratitude as we're coming up to Thanksgiving. So you can find it in the description. So thank you for taking the time to listen to us and Joshua's foot as we <laughs> pressed into the flood of God's glory. And thank you for journeying with us as we together explore what it means to know God and make him known. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of One Family, What's God Doing? If you'd like to learn more about what God's doing in Virginia, visit us at ywamva.org and join us next week for more stories of God at work. Oh.